Hi everybody, I'm Carrie from The Frog Project and this short sequence will get you feeling really super toned and sleek and slender and it's amazing to feel strong from your yoga practice. So let's go. If you want to feel like this, um, then join me for 10 minutes or less. Come onto your knees and bring your hands onto your thighs. Close your eyes. Sit tall through the spine, keep your belly slightly tucked. Your chin a little bit lower to lengthen out the back of your neck there. Closing your eyes and take a breath or two. Feel strong through your center. This is Vajrasana pose, very good for helping to stimulate digestion. As it stops the blood traveling into the lower half of the body. And brings it all into the abdomen. So wonderful to do this pose after a big meal. And also if you want to stimulate everything in your gut. Take another breath here. And when you're ready, gently opening your eyes. Roll onto your hands and your knees, coming into your tabletop pose. Take a breath here. If you want to do a round of cat-cow, go ahead, inhale, drop the belly. Back of the head towards the tailbone. Exhale, rounding everything out, center of the spine towards the sky. Another breath like that. And exhale it all out. Bring your left fingertips forward, your right foot behind. Take a breath. Inhale, raise the arm, raise the leg. Feel the whole front of the body magnetized here towards the back of the body. As you inhale, reach the fingers, reach the toes really far apart. Take a breath. And exhale, bring them together. Knee to touch the elbow. And then back out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, in. Really nice. Inhale, reach. Exhale in, last time. Inhale, reach. And then lower the hand, lower the knee. Take a moment. Do a round of cat cow if you like to balance everything up. And then opposite side. Right fingertips in front, left toes behind. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift the arm, lift the leg. Imagine the whole front of the body magnetized, sucked up towards the back of the body. Take a big breath, stretch through the fingers, stretch through the toes. And when you're ready, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach. Exhale in. Inhale, reach. Exhale in. Really good for your waist. <laughs> Inhale, reach the front of your body, your core. Exhale down. Take a moment. If you need to do some wiggles <laughs> for your back, go ahead. Maybe some big circles with the rib cage. And then when you're ready, come onto your forearms. Send your toes back behind you and bring yourself into a forearm plank. Take a breath. If it feels nice, you can try lifting one foot. Point the toes, send it back down, other side. Feel the whole front of the body magnetized towards the back of the body. One more time with the toes. If it feels good. And then lower everything. Down to the floor, push into the hands, take a breath, lift through the chest, squeeze the back of the body, inhale to inflate the chest and exhale, let the chest pull a little bit forward. One more breath here and exhale everything back down, forehead to the floor, tuck the toes, inhale, press through the hands and push yourself into your plank pose, take a breath here. Inhale, nice and strong. The whole front of the body magnetized towards the back of the body. 
Then bring your left hand in, lower your left knee down. Release your left foot behind you and ground through your right toes. Take a breath, inhale, open the right arm to the sky. Exhale, allow it to soften back in. Two more times, inhale to open everything up. Exhale, in, last time, inhale, open it up. Raise that bottom leg, maybe even the top toes if you feel strong. Make a starfish. And then soften everything back towards the center. Hold your plank here, strong through the front of the body. And then bring your right hand in, lower the knee. Bring the foot behind to catch you, ground through the left side. Inhale, open the arm to the sky. And exhale, let it soften back down. Two more times. Inhale, open the arm to the sky. And exhale back down. Last time, inhale, straighten that bottom leg if it feels nice. Maybe lift those top toes. Maybe make a starfish. And then when you're ready, guide everything back towards the center. Lower the knees, everything down to the floor. One more time, cobra pose. Press through the hands, toes together, ankles together. Everything up. Imagine like someone's picking you up underneath the armpits, inflate that chest. And as you exhale, let your chest go forward. And then when you're ready, over the knees, tuck the toes, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Step the right toes in, inhale, lift the left leg up. Three-legged downward dog. Take a breath. And then open the hips back behind you. On your next inhale, soften the hips back towards being level and bring that knee up towards the left elbow. Hover here and then send it all the way back. And then bring the knee back around towards the right elbow. Hover here. Bring it back. One more time, each side. Left elbow. Bring it back. And right elbow. Bring it back. And now all the way to the center. And step the left foot between the hands. Put some weight into the back leg. Inhale everything up for your high lunge. Exhale to soften. Two more times. Everything up. Exhale to soften one more time. Exhale, release those hands. Press into the hands, lift those left toes and send them back to your downward facing dog. Step your left toes in, raise that right leg. Three-legged downward dog. Slowly begin to open up through the hips. And when you're ready, inhale, bring that knee towards the elbow, pause. <laughs> Inhale back. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale back. Exhale. Right elbow. Inhale back. Exhale left. Inhale back. And exhale, center. <laughs> nice. Put some weight into those feet. Take a big breath. Push everything up. And everything sinks. Two more times. Everything sinks. One more time. Release the hands. Step that front foot back. Take a breath. Release the toes back together. Inhale everything forward into that plank. This time right hand in, right toes. Maybe come into your side plank without the knee down, your starfish. Or you can lower the knee if you need. Back to the center. Left hand in, other side. <laughs> Raise the leg if it feels good. Everything back to the center. Lower the knees, send the hips back. 
child's pose. One more round of breath. Exhale, release. Inhale, everything back up. Lean into the side, untuck the toes, bring the feet out in front of you. Strong through the feet. Bring the hands to the inside of the legs. As you inhale, lift everything up, your heart, your fingers, your little fingers pointing in towards each other. And as you exhale, lower everything towards the floor. Hands come back behind you, feet out in front, yastigasana, stick pose. Reach, 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 reach. And then exhale, bring those knees in. Send the feet to the sky, take a breath. As you inhale, push the heels to the sky. As you exhale, pull the toes towards the face. Keep going, inhale, heels to the sky. Exhale, toes towards the face. One more breath here. And exhale, release the knees. Open the arms out to a T-shape. Drop the knees to the right. Open the gaze to the left. And back through center, inhale, exhale, opposite side. And back through center, take a breath and exhale, everything to the floor, Shavasana. Take a few moments here. Allowing all this strength to soak up, to integrate into your body. And know that you'll build strength from the inside out. You'll tone your body from the inside out. But not just your body, your mind also. The beauty of yoga is the holistic benefits that you feel. You can't have one without the other. So enjoy building this strength, this resilience. And know that your physical, emotional, mental, social, spiritual self will grow. as you practice. So when you're ready, you can stay here for as long as you like, or roll over onto your right side. One more challenge, be long like a stick, balanced here. And then gently bring yourself back up. And you should feel really good, <laughs> really strong. And ready for your day. So I hope that helped you to feel a bit of strength in the shoulders, the arms, the abdomen, the chest, the legs, the sides, the back, everything. Hopefully you feel great. Um, do this as often as you like. And if you love it, let me know. Maybe I can make another video kind of similar. Um, and if you want to practice some live yoga, join us for a 15 day free trial and see what you think. All the information is in the link below. And if you have any questions, please get in touch. See you soon.